In this video, I'm gonna show you as quick as I can how to do the CRTV effect I used in my short film. Okay, so I have my comp open with my clip in it. I'm gonna create a black solid. So right click, new, solid, black solid. Add the Venetian blinds effect and set the transition completion to 50 and width to six. Duplicate, set direction to 90 and width to 10. Add the Gaussian blur effect, set the blurriness to four. Make sure the blur dimension is horizontal and vertical. Done. Drag the black solid layer below your clip so that it rests at the bottom of your layer timeline. This is where it will stay at all times. Select your footage clip and add the set channels effect to it. Next, duplicate the clip twice. So press Ctrl D and Ctrl D again. So we now have three layers of the same clip. Click on the bottom one, set green to source off and do the same for blue. Select the clip above and set red to source off, blue off. Select the clip above and turn off red and turn green off and leave blue on. Then set all clips to the add blending mode. Next, select the drop down menu and set the track map to the black solid. Do this for all the remaining footage clips. Perfect. Next, add an adjustment layer. Right click, new adjustment layer. Add the quick chromatic aberration effect to it. It's a free plugin by plugging everything. Link to download it is in the description box below. And it does exactly what it says. It adds chromatic aberration to your footage. So I'm gonna set the channels to red and blue and the hue shift to plus 18. Then for position, I'm gonna set this to four. Make sure repeat edge pixels is selected. That's pretty important. Add the levels effect to the adjustment layer. Make sure it's below the chromatic aberration effect and set the input white to 70 and the output white to 255. Then add the curves effect and on the RGB channel, create a curve like the one you see right here now. Lovely. Then add the optics compensation effect to get that distortion going on and set the field of view to 47.7 and I'm gonna make sure the orientation is horizontal. Then to get rid of the black edges, Add a transform effect and increase the scale so we no longer see any black edges around our clip. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add another adjustment layer and place it below the first one like so. And I want my TV to have the brightness flicker effect. So in order to create that, I'm gonna add the brightness and contrast effect to the adjustment layer. Then click on the layer twirl down button in the timeline and click on the effects twirl down button. Then do the same for brightness and contrast. Then hold Alt or Option and click on the brightness stopwatch symbol to open up the expressions. Type in wiggle, click this, and I'm gonna set the frequency to five and amplitude to 20. So the frequency is how many times per second the brightness will flicker and the amplitude is how strong it will go to. Do the same for contrast, Alt or Option click, type wiggle, select this, and this time I'm gonna set the frequency to three and the amplitude to 15. Next, I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur effect to this and set the blurriness to five. Then add a noise effect below it and set the amount of noise to 10%, nice. Now I wanna add another adjustment layer and place it above the clip or below the second adjustment layer. I wanna add like a distorted line going through our footage. Something you see a lot in old CRTVs. So in order to do that, I'm gonna add the wave warp effect and change the wave type to sawtooth, the wave height to five and wave width to 500. Then I'm gonna set the wave speed to minus one and I'm gonna set the wave direction to zero degrees. Now, as you can see, we have a retro distorted line going through our clip and that's it. We have the CRTV effect going on. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you learn something new and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.